Here's a quick Final Cut Pro tutorial on creating a motion effect that changes speed direction so a clip bounces back and forth at a certain point. I found it's best to build your motion effects as a separate sequence and then you can drag the elements from your current sequence into another sequence. If this effect is new to you, it can drive you nuts trying to match up the frames to get everything to play seamless. Here's an easy workflow you may want to follow. Start with a new sequence with a clip that you want to change. Activate the Blade tool. With the Blade tool activated, you can still drag through your timeline from up here in the timecode area. Place Add Edit Marks to create an area where you want the clip to cycle. In this example, from this spot here over to this spot here. Activate the Selection tool and verify that you have the snapping feature turned on. Now, go ahead and delete the remaining section of the clip. Copy and paste this section two times. Click on the clip, then hold down the Option key to create a copy while you drag the clip. Since the snapping feature is turned on, the clips should automatically snap together. Trim the last clip out to the desired distance to complete your scene. Right click on the second copy that you made and select Change Speed from the contextual menu. Click on the Reverse button. That's it. Go ahead and play your sequence. For other great tips or tricks like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training class, visit GeniusDV.com.